I've made dresses in the past. Two to be exact. Perfect for the coming season, right? Yeah. Y yeah. If I'd wear them. <laughs> you know, I've been learning that liking a design idea and realizing that vision with your own hands and sewing machines does not guarantee that you'll actually wear them. Most importantly for the sustainability of the clothes you own is that they work for you, which these don't yet. So in this video, I'd like to give these pieces a new life and share that process with you. Starting with this black dress. I believe it's Lyocell fabric. I used an instruction by Chess Dang and you'll see I find her way of sharing patterns fun and helpful. This dress, unfortunately, I found it hard to layer with. But more specifically, I don't love the shearing anymore. Plus, my craftswomanship has resulted in some parts opening up. Lastly, the sleeves are not as comfortable as I'd like. When I made it, this design was my ideal little black dress. Today, I have another design in mind. For my idea, I simply want to sew a black mini dress. But to make this upcycle easier, I chose another pattern by Jess Dang, since I like the adjustable straps, and I set out to create a shorter version of it. Thank you to our sponsor, Vivaya. Vivaya's shoes are made from recycled materials, which are knit into a cozy yarn, making all of their pairs super comfortable. My favorite aspect about these shoes is not just the material, but the timeless designs and versatility, which ensure these pairs last in your wardrobe, which to me is a huge prerequisite to conscious consumerism. The new and improved Aria 5 Degrees encompasses pretty much everything I could ask for in a shoe. As one of their best sellers, this new and improved model made from recycled yarn features a wider toe box, increased arch support, and also better heel cushioning. With the added comfort of a sneaker, this sole was created to take you on any terrain on foot. From walks with my dog, dressed up office looks, to laid back outfits. Or you can take them anywhere in your bag since they're foldable. And if you get them dirty on your adventures, they are machine washable. As much as I love roaming hills outside, I also love dressing up with my day-to-day -day looks, making these Julie heels a staple to elevate my outfits with comfort in mind. So y'all, if you have been looking to add a new pair of shoes into your wardrobe from a brand that focuses on eco-consciousness as well as your comfort, the code Yusuf gives you 18% off everything on their website, which is linked down below in the description box with additional information. Now, let's get back to transforming these dresses. An important mistake I've made in the past was being impatient when reworking an existing garment. That was when designing, when sewing, especially when deconstructing the pieces. It may be, since the material seems cheaper than new fabric, that we feel more courageous to try out weird ideas, right? But this reason may also seduce us to treat it with less care and patience. I now believe that these clothes deserve even more attention to detail. Since the fabric is limited, it is so worth it to get out as much fabric to reuse as you can to stitch into something with a new meaning and purpose. The philosophy here is rather sparingly than sorry, take your time.
In the video instruction I've decided to follow for this dress, the fabric is cut out directly after marking your personal measurements. Again, since my approach here is to be extra careful, since we have no fabric left for error, I decided to draft a paper pattern first. In my sewing guide, part two, I elaborate on mise en place. The principle I follow as a foundation is preparing as much as I can, meaning cutting out all of the pieces, labeling everything, and sewing separate parts, such as straps, for example, before sewing integral seams. This way, the actual sewing consumes about a quarter of the time it takes me to complete an entire project. This also slows everything down, which works against, you know, those spurts of inspiration you have, which can sort of take you down a road of working on sewing projects when you're exhausted, when you're tired and hurrying to finish something, probably giving you a lot of opportunity to make unwanted mistakes. So ultimately, I appreciate this approach and I appreciate that it slows me down but definitely enhances the quality of the work I can put in. Oh my god, are we going off the rails?
Here it is, my new LBD, little black dress. I'm already having fun with tying the straps in different ways. I like how it turned out. If I had more fabric, I would have probably added an inch to the length, but mostly I'm looking forward to wearing this dress in many ways throughout the entire year. Here is my second dress, initially also inspired by one of Jess Dang's instruction, but let me call this a failed project. The only times I've been wearing this quote-unquote summer dress has been to bed. It's the sleeves, the bust shape, and also the length, which ended up just not fitting right. The vision for this piece is inspired by a baby doll shape. To add texture to the skirt, I plan to sew it in two tiers. Since I didn't make a pattern for this dress, the plan were some measurements and shapes working with the fabric I could get from the original dress. And this left my future self to figure out a lot of details as I went along. Breaking down this dress reminds me of how it came to be. Originally, I was making a video about it, which never got completed because I wasn't really happy with the outcome of the dress, but this fabric is actually an old bedsheet which someone wanted to give away. And after it landed in my hands, well, it became a dress and now it's becoming another one. For sewing and finishing the edges of my seams, I decided to do most of it with my serger, having had a good experience the first time around.
Once the pieces started being stitched together, I realized some measurements did not fit well, such as the front of the top. Here I decided to add two seams, posing as darts. Since my process was a little questionable, I don't know if I can call them real darts, but at this point I sort of had to make it work. After researching how to make a tiered skirt, I was initially a little intimidated about the proportions, but it worked out surprisingly well. Here is the finished dress. I may say that the skirt is my favorite part about it. The overall shape turned out pretty good and in the end the top fits me in the front, almost in the back, but I do love how low the back is. And my improvised sleeves, they stay up, can't really ask for much more. This design has a stronger personality, fits comfortably and makes me feel good wearing it. Hopefully, you'll see me wearing it a lot. And that, not just to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you around soon. But until then, perhaps you'll find something in your wardrobe you can give a new meaning and purpose to through love and attention.